The Sheriff Scott Israel, who took to the airwaves this morning, defending his own leadership and the deputies who work for him. Here's part of Israel's contentious conversation with CNN's Jake Tapper. Florida State Representative Bill Hager from Boca sent a letter to the governor of Florida, Rick Scott, yesterday asking him to remove you for negligence of duty and incompetence. Here's what he wrote, quote, an investigation of Sher by Sheriff Israel into the unfathomable inaction of these deputies will do nothing to bring back the 17 victims. The sheriff was fully aware of the threat this individual presented to his community and, con and chose to ignore it. What's your response and will you resign? It was a shameful letter. It was politically motivated. I never met that man. He doesn't know anything about me. And the letter was full of mis, uh, misinformation. I wrote a letter back to the governor. Uh, I talked about all the mistakes that Hager made in his letter. It, it, it was a shameful, politically motivated letter that had no facts. Uh, and uh, of course, I won't resign. Are you really not taking any responsibility for the multiple red flags that were brought to the attention of the Broward Sheriff's Office about this shooter before the incident, whether it was people near him, close to him, calling the police Jake, on Jake, him? I could Jake, I could only take responsibility for what I knew about. I exercise my, my due diligence. I've given amazing leadership to this agency. Amazing leadership? Uh, I've worked... Yes, Jake. Uh, this is, there's, there's a lot of things we've done throughout. This, uh, this is uh, you, you don't uh, measure uh, a person's leadership by a deputy not going into a. These deputies received the training they needed. Maybe they you measure somebody's leadership by whether or not they protect the community. In this case, you've listed 23 incidents before the shooting involving the shooter, and. Still, nothing was done to keep guns out of his hands, to make sure that there were, the school was protected, to make sure you were keeping an eye on him. Your deputy at the Jake, school failed. Say, I don't understand how you can sit there and claim amazing Jake, leadership. Jake, on 16 of those cases, our deputies did everything right. Our deputies have done amazing things. Uh, we've taken this, uh, in the five years I've been sheriff, we've taken the Broward Sheriff's Office to a new level. I work with some of the bravest people I've ever met. Uh, one person, at, at this point, one person didn't do what he should have done. He, uh, it, it's horrific. The victims here, uh, the, the families, I pray for them every night. It, 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 it makes me sick to my stomach that we had a deputy didn't go in because I know if I was there if I was on that wall I would have been the first I, then I think there are a lot so of people of I think there people. are a lot of people sir who think that there are a lot of mistakes other than that one deputy as you know by now the high school's armed resource officer Scott Peterson failed to enter the building as shooter Nicholas Cruz gunned down 17 people BSO is also looking into reports that three other deputies also failed to go inside the school as the massacre was underway.